Yo, what's up? My name is Minty, and also known as uh, Minty underscore Fresh13 on Twitch.tv. Um, I just wanted to show you all a video of me, uh, how I personally put together my stream, uh, just so that it works properly. I do use a PS4 and stream everything, or remote play everything over to my laptop, so that I can stream through Streamlabs OBS while having a green screen, and other, other overlays and alerts and all that stuff. Um, um, the, ba the video is kind of vague, so if you have any questions on it, uh, just let me know. But it's how I, how, how I personally hook everything up, um, including the lights, you know, how I hook up my microphone, my camera that you see me in now, and have everything put into my laptop. So with that being said, let's get right into it. Um, if you have any questions and all that, leave it in the questions, in the comments. Sorry, my, my bad. Leave it in the comments below and let me know what you think. But uh, yeah, hope you enjoy. Thank you. So. Basically, uh, we got the green screen over here. We have uh, my desk, and then I have a little spot over there just to put items and stuff like that, such as you know paper and uh, water bottles and so and so whenever I need to. <clears throat> um, my my uh, laptop and stuff is all over here. Uh, I'm currently just putting it there. I'm gonna eventually move this table right here underneath the AC unit. Uh, but yeah, so basically. Um, I have my desk, I have my PS4, uh, SR9, I mean it just has um, the power and the, the HDMI going straight to the TV. Um, oops, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, so it's just going straight to the TV. This is a 32 inch Insignia, pretty basic TV, it's like a Roku TV. Um, so yeah, so basically I have that hooked up like normally, like you would normally play a PlayStation. Um, this is the camera that I'm using for my stream. This is, let me take off and show you. This is a Logitech uh, C920. Uh, it's about 50 bucks on Amazon. That's where I got all my products at. So make sure y'all check it out because it's definitely worth the money. Uh, especially how easy it is to set up and adjust for your stream uh, in personal settings pretty much. Um, this is my microphone boom. Uh, I just have it attached to the back of my desk. I didn't want to sit here and move it and unattach it just to reattach it uh, with one hand trying to do it on stream. I mean on stream uh, during this video. But, so basically, um, yeah, I have it set up. Um, just This is just attached to the desk. Uh, my microphone, which is a snowball, a blue snowball. I have all my stuff uh, that I use for my stream in my Twitch information. So this is the blue snowball, this is the main power cord that goes straight, I have it wrapped around here just so there's not so much slack all over the place, that goes straight into my laptop. Once I get all this set up, <clears throat> I'll show you how to start the stream uh, using remote play. Um, just to let you know, I will try to remember and put the remote play uh, links into the description for y'all so that y'all can um, easily just click that link. It'll bring up the download for remote play that you download on your PC. You can also do it for your Mac. But um, I don't use Mac, obviously, so um, I'm not going to be able to show you how I set that up. But it's pretty similar. Um, so, yeah. I just usually hook this up to USB right here on the side. That's exactly where I put it. My camera is a USB as well. Uh, I, use, I use the USB 3 port just because I want to make sure it's top quality, which is located here on the back. This is my, uh, these are my Ethernet cables that I have running from my house. I know they're kind of a mess right now, but the blue one I use for my PS4. So this is the Ethernet cable port on the back of my laptop. Doo -doo. So yeah, so now I have my camera hooked directly into my PC. I have my headphone, I mean my um, microphone plugged into my PC. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and sign in on my PlayStation. I mean, yeah. My laptop. I keep saying PC. I'm super excited about my PC build that I'm currently working on, aka the Mint Lab. Um, so yeah. Um, what else? What else? Okay, so you're also gonna need your PlayStation controller, of course. Dual Shock. It has to be a Dual Shock in order to work with uh, remote play. Um, you can use headphones with a USB jack. This, these are my Kraken. Uh, tournament edition, Razor Kraken Tournament. They use a four 
or a three, yeah, three line uh, headphone jack. And I just usually plug that in right here on the side of my laptop. Boom. And that's how you're gonna be able to listen to your audio from your uh, laptop. So we got, you're also gonna need your normal cable that you charge your DualShock with from your PS4. You're gonna need one of these. I have a very long one uh, just because I wanted to buy a lengthy one. So we'll plug that in over here. And this will get directly plugged into your controller. And it has to stay plugged in while you're playing. Um, just because it makes it a lot easier. And it's how you start the remote play without having to touch the screen. Um, let's see. This is just this is just a, uh, a cable for my iPhone. I usually have that plugged into my PlayStation so I can charge my iPhone. Yeah, anyway. So yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my chair and that's pretty much how I set up my thing and also um, when you have a green screen you want to make sure there's enough light obviously this one little bulb is not gonna be enough to light you evenly plus it's gonna give you a harsh shadow like that um, I usually close these which all set up the lights these are the lights I use they are $50 on Amazon they come with both they both come with stands um, they are simple like photography type um, softbox lights they are nothing special um, you can literally use them for whatever you're feeling I use them for my stream of course uh, I think I have it I think yeah I think that's where I had it uh, you want them you want two of them and the $50 order comes with both of these which is pretty nice uh, it's a super good deal I usually set them up one on each side, like so, and I sit in the middle of them, um, and it works pretty, pretty damn well. All right, and then let me plug these in. Let me turn them on. They have a little switch right here. These are fifty dollars. They both come with the stands, the lights, the light bulbs, pretty much everything you need to use them. Uh, as you can see, nice light. Everything's nice and lit. Your background is completely nice. Uh, Sometimes you have to worry about it depending on your light about these wrinkles and stuff like that, but Mine doesn't uh, need anything because of the way I adjusted it uh, My chroma key, which is the green screen um, Setting for your Streamlabs OBS um, So pretty much that's it's good to go I'm gonna go ahead and grab the easy chair to move just so I can do this nice and one-handed for y'all um, so, so now we're here, we're gonna turn on TV, turn on the system. Get everything situated. Of course, it's gonna say no signal. I always have it on the wrong channel. I need to preset it to be the main channel that I use my PlayStation on. Cause I don't really use it for anything else. Um, all right, so I have everything here, ready to go. The system's on, ta-da. The Streamlabs OBS chatbot which is right here. So usually what I do is I open this first, and I click yes, because that's what it always says, you have to authorize it. Yeah, so this is open, you can go ahead and minimize that. That's literally strictly for your stream. What I like to do next, which is what you're gonna have to download, is PS4 Remote Play. It looks like this little icon right here. Let me go ahead and show you that. This little icon right here. That's what you're gonna want. Um, sorry, I'm making sure, trying to make sure this doesn't like fall for y'all. So you wanna open that. It only takes a second to load up, which is really nice. Um, and then you're gonna grab your PS4 controller or you can just click start. But for the most part, before you, as soon as you download it, you wanna make sure to go to settings. Settings will allow you to sign in to your PlayStation network, which links your PlayStation uh, personal account. It doesn't link the actual system, it just links the information from your name into the system. Um, well, I need to honestly uncheck this. Um, I have my resolution set to 720. I have it at a high frame rate because my internet is pretty decent. If you don't have very good strong internet, you can go to standard, but I use um, a high refresh rate, or I mean a uh, frame rate. Um, when it says change the PS4 to connect to, 
So whenever you go to your, your game, your, your PS4, make sure, oh, hold on a second. Mm -hmm. Make sure um, you go over to settings, and then you wanna go to, oh, remote play connection settings. That's where you wanna go, remote play connection settings. You click that, and you say enable remote, remote play, and you can, um, it's adding a device. So you'll do that, and you'll eventually, It'll ask you to do it in a code that you pull up on your computer in order to connect it, which is pretty cool, very simple. Um, but once you have that connected, it's pretty self-explanatory uh, because it just pretty much says you've got it both linked and you're good to go to click OK and click, um, um, let me try and plug it in the controller. Click start on the remote play to play, to connect them to. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit OK because I already have it all connected. And you go to start, you give it a second. It's literally searching for the PS4. So boom, as you can tell, I'm using my, my uh, controller to navigate through it. And you're pretty much ready to go on remote play. That's pretty set. Um, what I do is if you minimize it, it's gonna make the remote play free. So make sure you go ahead and click on whatever else you need. Make sure to leave it open in the background. Uh, you can click full screen and it'll get rid of these sidebars if you want to if you don't want to like take those out like basically stretch your screen a little more um, within the stream so I use streamlabs OBS you have to download the program program from their website or you go to my information down below click the link and you'll be supporting me so it'll load up all your settings and such and such um, it's gonna bring you to this thing in the beginning where it tells you to link your uh, twitch account to it and so and so and all that and you want to make sure when you first start the program, make sure to run auto optimizer. You want to make sure to do that because if you try to sit here and do custom settings through and through, you're going to get very frustrated and you might overdo it for what your PC can handle or your laptop or whatever. And you'll have insane amounts of frame drops because right here, it literally shows you all your frame drops, your FPS that you're running, which I'm running at 59.94. I don't do 60 because supposedly if you do it just this little bit, it actually runs smoother without the 60 frames per second. And this is to keep an eye on how much CPU you're taking up. This is 24.8% CPU just from this program is being used. As you add more overlays and all of this stuff where like pops up or, you know, like I do the little explosion stuff and all that, um, it actually uses more CPU every time it does it. So that's why it's best to have like a gaming PC or something nice, hence why I'm upgrading. But, um, I mean, that's pretty much it. You got everything set up. Um, I'll do other videos if y'all want about how I actually sit here and um, completely make a layout or how I add stuff to my stream, such as donation goals and the controller, the audio, the little header like the Minty Fresh or the other yeah, goals, tip perks. Uh, you can make hotkeys to bring up stuff. Boom, boom, boom. You know, all that goodiness that people love to see. And um, so and so, but yeah, pretty much. With that being said, that's pretty much how you set it all up. The microphone and everything's already all set up in here. Um, it's very simple. So if you want to know how to like how I set up mine, how I do it through here, let me know. Also, um, with the camera, um, the green screen, you know, works really well when it's lit up because you have very little shadow actually coming straight onto you and reflecting straight behind you. Having the lights higher above your eye line or just about your eye line and um, coming down at you makes the shadows go behind you but they're like lower than what you're actually being seen as in your uh, camera but yeah so that's pretty much it um, I hope that helps out a little bit on some I don't know how people do it or you know how I do it uh, so a lot of people have been asking with that being said uh, hope you enjoyed let me know what you think if you have any questions put them down in the comments and thanks sure to give this video a thumbs up if you haven't, go follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash minty underscore fresh 13.